What is the law of attraction? The law of attraction is what you focus on is what you will attract into your life. That sounds really, really simple, and it is. However, most of the time, without realizing it innocently, we are not focusing on what we want to attract in our life. We are focusing on all the things we don't have or all the things we want but still do not have. And we're not focusing on what we have and we're not understanding that the minute we put a desire out into the universe, it is already responding and bringing that towards us. Okay, so let's just dial back a little bit. Focus. When you focus on something, we're talking about what you think about, what you speak about, and the emotions you have, especially very strong emotions that you might have about something. So if you have stronger emotions about not having than the emotion of having what you want, then that will override the thing that you want. You're worrying about what isn't there rather than thinking about what it will be like when you have what you desire. So how do we change that? Every time you get a thought, a concern, every time you hear yourself complaining or moaning about something that you do not want, every time you feel a negative emotion, I want you to have a little pattern interrupt. I put a little poll up at my group last week. The poll was, what miracle would you like to create before the end of the year? And most of the people asked for a money miracle. So let's take a money miracle as an example. There's a certain amount of money that you'd like to create between now and the end of the year. But what are you thinking about when you think about the gap between where you are now, maybe an empty bank account after Black Friday, <laughs> and where you want to be by the end of the month? So are you thinking about the gap, the lack of money that you have, or are you thinking about what it's going to be like when you have all of the money that you're wishing for? Because it's that gap, it's that feeling of lack and the worry that it creates, the concern, the stress, the drama, the you just not feeling good about your life that is going to dictate whether you get the money or not. If you're able to focus on the thing that you're desiring to attract, then you will get it. So one of the ways to do this is to act as if you already have it. So what would it be like if that money that you were looking for already arrived? I'm going to give you an example. The other day I took my son out. We became tourists for a day in Cape Town. It was so much fun. We decided that we live in this beautiful city. It's time to go out and see the penguins. He absolutely adores penguins. He's got like a penguin family living on his bed of different little soft toy penguins that he absolutely adores. And we haven't been to see the penguins with boulders for a long, long time. It's a little bit of a drive. It takes some time. He's not mad about going in the car. And Somehow, on this particular day, seeing the penguins was more exciting to him than his dread of a long drive. Yay! Law of attraction. Here we go. So, off we went, got in the car. Along the way, he wanted me to get him a, a special charcoal pencil because he's into art now. And he started working with his charcoal pencil while he was on the way. And so the drive went quickly and he enjoyed it. I showed him some views along the way. We got there. He had a marvelous time seeing the penguins. And then we went for a longer walk and found this little beach where you're allowed to go and swim with the penguins if they're available. 
and he's been telling me, Mom, this is so much fun. I'm having the best day of my life. I'm having so much fun. We had a great time. And then we went to Scratch Patch in Simon's Town, where he was able to go. He loves going there. And he was able to go and scratch around. And it was such a marvelous day. And as we were having fun like that, I thought about how amazing it would be if every single day of the holidays, okay, we spent a lot of money on this particular day because there were lots of different little expenses that accumulated. We don't necessarily have to spend that much money to have a happy day. But what if we could set ourselves a little target for a certain amount of money that we would like to have so the holidays would feel this light and this happy and the money was just flowing and we could just relax and enjoy ourselves and have this kind of fun every day. How amazing would that be? And being in that lighthearted energy and feeling that excitement, money just started to come. Money started coming in. And that is the law of attraction. Now, the minute that you start getting a unhappy thought, about it. If we were to go on that same excursion and spend the whole day thinking, oh my goodness, we spent money on this and we spent money on this and it cost this and it cost that and where's that money going to come from and what am I going to do? How am I going to make this kind of money? I, I can't give my son this kind of thing every day. If we go into the worry and the stress and the drama of not having First of all, we lose the excitement and joy. And secondly, we stop any chance of us having another day like that in the future because now it's become a concern, it's become a worry, it's become a stress to us to go out and have that much fun. So I hope that gives you an idea of the difference between being light and feeling good about spending money versus how you can actually destroy your happiness by thinking about where the next money is going to come from. As we do things that give us pleasure and light us up, we are no longer thinking about the things that are bothering us, that are worrying us, that are stressing us. It's impossible to have two thoughts happening at the same time or two emotions going at the same time. You're either worrying or you're happy and in delight. And the more that you can live in the delight, in the fun, in the glory and the joy of it all, the more you can really get in touch with feeling good, the more you can attract good things towards you gratefulness is I would say the opposite of worry so anytime that you have a thought of worry or concern or stress about something switch that thought into what you're grateful for right now I'm grateful for hook into something think about something okay let's do it right now I want you to just breathe deeply for a couple of seconds just breathe deeply in and out and out, just to connect, connect, connect with the breath for a couple of seconds. And now, I want you to think of a memory of a day where you were really, really happy. Think of a day, maybe it was your wedding day, maybe it was the day your child was born, maybe it was a birthday celebration or a surprise party was thrown for you or the day you got your little dog or kitten or think of just a memory of something that made you really really happy and you will know when a smile comes on your face you will know the moment that you've got it when a smile comes on your face when you think about that thing okay have you got it now, the moment that you feel a little niggle of worry or concern, I want you to pull up that memory. So maybe you need to click your fingers, 
clap your hands, just pull up that memory of something, that very, very happy moment. And see if that switches your energy. So I just want you to try that for one day. It's one little tip, one little tool. Just try that today, just for fun, just for today. Choose one thing. You don't need to have an array of things for this to work. You just need one special memory that you can bring to mind that brings a smile to your face. Smile. And then go about your day. Just for today, just for fun, do a little pattern interrupt when any kind of worry or concern comes up and then let me know how it goes. Now you know what the law of attraction is and why it works. Let's focus on using it to attract what we are desiring in our life rather than that gap where there's the lack of what we want. We do not want to attract more of the lack. We want to attract what we actually desire. 